Nice day to be working in the shop. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to maintenance my L tractor. This guy right here. I've never shown it. I got to go through it all. I got to change the oil. We've had it out this morning putting out a bale so the engine and everything is warmed up. We have to take the hood enclosure off. We have to check the fan, blow it out with air. We got to check our universal tractor fluid in here and we have to get down in here underneath and we have to check the front end and make sure it's got fluid in it and we have to check the coolant and all the things that you need to check for maintenance so let's get started we need a 3430 oil filter which we have we need an 11 221 air filter which we have we have coolant up there we have tractor fluid on the shelf over there if we need any. So I have everything on hand to do this. The oil filter wrench, oil wrench size is 17 millimeter. So that's where we need to start. Now before I drain the oil, I have to take these side panels off so I have access to the oil cap. I always screw these guys right back in. Okay, one of the unique things about this tractor is the drive shaft runs through here to the front end, so they actually have two wells for the oil. Take the one furthest away from me off first. And then this one. All right, we'll let that drain. Okay. Underneath the oil filter. Underneath the filter now. And tight, quarter turn. All right. Now the next step is to get the hood off and get access to put the oil in and look at the other things I need to look at. So I have a guy that picks up all my used motor oil. They have a motor oil burning furnace. They take all of it. I don't get any more than that. Okay, there's another bolt right up in here. Now we have access down in here to everything. So let's get this off first. Get the screen cleaned. This is now loose, so we have to go over and do that same thing to the other side. This has to come off as well. Now these. All you really need to do is just break these because they have a ton of never sees on them. Now I'm setting all these over here so I know exactly how to put it back together. I do that every time I take this off. It will come right by this breather hose. And you can see the screen isn't too bad. I didn't do any mowing this year, any brush hogging with this, so 
it's not too bad but now we'll fire up the air and we'll blow all this out now when i first bought this tractor and this belt is a little bit loose but this belt was only half the size so i will have to loosen up this alternator and tighten this belt and i think i'll do it right now Good enough. Didn't have to give it much. <clears throat> Looking good. That's good. Now I don't get too close. I just don't because this is high pressure air so I stay back quite a ways. All I got to do is just get the crap out. Now it's always been very important to me to clean off the top of the battery as well as I can because it can conduct electricity from side to side through the dirt, believe it or not. And we're also gonna put an air filter in. Now, this is a maintenance battery. So not only am I gonna clean the top off, I'm gonna check the fluid levels in it. Very important that you look at this because these machines run a lot and they're constantly charging and depleting the battery. And that usually is a sign that unless they're maintenance free, that they will lose a little fluid at times. And then we'll check everything and I think the only one that's gonna need anything is this end one. All right, now when I clean these batteries, this is how I do it. Stick my finger in the hole and then I run my thumb around the outside and clean it just like that and then nothing gets in the holes and we'll just splash a little bit in and we'll keep checking yep that's it now the other thing I always do is I always clean these guys off I clean under here all the way back inside okay And this one the same way. I know it's tempting to just throw these on, but always clean them. Battery is sealed back up. Okay. Sometimes this is a little difficult too. Cleaned off the top of my drum here, my five gallon can. Okay, my plugs are in downstairs. Oil filter's on. Everything's done. Yep, we're just about a little over a half a quart shy. We'll put the six quart in. Alright, I'm gonna let this one drain out. Cover back on this. It's just a smidge over full. Alright, now it's time to put these guys back on go on here now I'm not gonna 
put that nut on real tight. I'll just start it. All right. It's a good thing I was a guitar player for all those years. I can actually do stuff with my left hand. Zip that one on and that will hold that in place so we can put the other side on. It has to go like this. Okay. Now while I still have the hood off, I'm going to change this air filter. This stuff in there, I'll blow that out with air. Doesn't look terrible, but wait till you see the new one. Direct comparison. No comparison. Always go with the new filters. Hey, it's your machine, you know what I'm saying? But I know that I try to take care of mine the best I can. I gotta look. Is there an inside filter on this too? I don't know. That's an even bigger reason to absolutely change this one. At least if you have a tractor that's the age of mine, because it does not have the inside filter like a lot of them have. My excavator, my 91 has it. The B tractor has it. This tractor does not, so always put a new filter in these guys. That says top right there. So we'll put that right on top. Okay, that's done. Oil's changed, air filter's in, battery's done. It's time to put the hood on. There's nothing more to do under here. And we'll start everything just loose. Nothing gets tight till we're done. Okay. We can get the one in underneath. That one started. All right, that's the last of the screws. I'm gonna run these guys in just hand tight. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Through, this is tight, we tightened that one. All four of the tops are tight. Now we need to put the side covers on and then start it up and check the oil. got to check our front end level down here and we have to check the level of this <clears throat> that is full the second line is right there I don't know if you can see that or not but it's full right up to the second line right there so that is fine you can see the difference so we have oil in the front end and it ain't leaking. So we are good here. There's a little air bubble at the top. So this whole gla sight glass is full right to up to here. So we're good. 
All right. All right, let's check our coolant level. This has no holdover in it. It doesn't have a, a container or anything. It just is full in the, and you can see that's totally full. It has just the radiator. It doesn't have any tank. Now this is how you start an L2350. Down here, this has already been pulled up and shut down. You can see the, the, the orange tang there. So what you do is you push this ahead till you feel it release. Then you kick the key back and you can see your lights come on there. And then you watch right down here and wait for that to get orange. I don't know if you can see that or not. See how it's orange? It's ready to go. Clutch in, has to be in, safety. Oil light flashed on and it went off. Let's go see what we got. Okay. No leaks here. All looking good. And you pull up on that with a little orange tab on it and it shuts the fuel off. Now, let's go check our oil. The oil thing is right here. It's very hard to see. I don't know if you can see that there or not. There's a little pull ball there and that comes out. You clean that off and then you put it back in. Pull it out and we'll see what we got. Right on full. Six quarts it is. The oil filter is full. We are done. So that finishes up the maintenance on my L tractor. All my fluids are good. Everything's right. Oil's changed. Everything's done. The screens are blown out. I usually do this in the spring, but with my schedule, it's been kind of hectic. So it kind of had to wait till now, but I always try to do it every year. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep working hard. And we'll see you on the next video.